Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to control a stepper motor with the help of Arduino Uno and L298 stepper motor driver. And the simulator which we are using is the Simulid 1.1.0. So now we have to search for our component. So in search box we have to write Uno. Or we can manually search it out like this. So here you can see that there are our Arduino. So click on it and drag it out. So we got our Arduino Uno. After this has been done, we need to go and we will take our stepper motor. So this is our stepper motor. Click on it and drag it out. You can either write in the search box or you can search these manually. So this is our stepper motor. Now we will go and we will take our our dual full bridge driver. Okay, so this is our driver. We also need to click on zoom to fit so that we can see this properly. Okay, now we got all of our components. While one component is missing, which is the fixed voltage power supply. So we need to take it out like this. Okay. In order to run this bipolar stepper motor, first of all, you need to click on it and click on this bipolar. Okay, now this is done and we got our bipolar stepper motor. Now there are four pins of this bipolar stepper motor A positive, B positive, A negative, and B negative. So we need to connect a positive or first coil with that of out one, the second one with that of a negative with that of out two. B positive with that of out three and B negative with that of out four. So this is our configuration. So all the output all the out pins are connected with this stepper motor. The N1 or input 1 pin must be connected with that of pin number 8 of Arduino Uno. So we need to click on Arduino Uno and click on horizontal flip. Like this. So we will connect pin number 8 of Arduino Uno with that of N1 of L298. And pin 9 with that of N2. Pin 10 with that of N3. And pin in 4 with that of pin 11 like this okay we also need to connect this n1 enable 1 and enable b with that of our fixed voltage power supply and we have to supply plus 5 volt on these two pins in order because these are enable pins so in order to make our stepper motor working we must have to connect these with the fixed voltage power supply and one more thing that is our VS pen so we also need to connect it with the fixed voltage supply and what about the SEN A and SEN B we need ground we have to ground these two pens okay now our circuit is uh, completed now you can see that this is our circuit okay and now we have to move for programming which is the most important part so we have to open our Arduino IDE. So here we need to click on file and then we got our new working file. Now in here you can see here this is wired setup and wired loop. So first of all we have to import one library that is called as the stepper.h. So we will write hash include stepper dot h stepper dot h so why we are importing this library because all the functions are stored inside this library okay and we have to call with the help of this library so now we also need to write constant step per revolution is equal to 200 okay now what is this we are actually declaring a variable which is of constant integer type and its name is stepper rev. 
means that how much steps we want to have uh, how much steps we want to be in a one revolution of this stepper motor so we have written 200 now in this name or in this variable a uh, 200 is stored so now uh, after this has been done we will create an object an object of that measure library or class so we will write stepper first we have to write the name of the library which is usually the name which is usually the same as the library name here on the top so this is ma main library or uh, class name then we will write here stepper this is the object name and you can change this name if you want you can change this name this is not necessary you can write abc here it, it is it, it will work it will work for you so now first of all we write here step per ref now in parameter bracket you have to give uh, the step number in one revolution which is obviously 200 then we will go at 9 10 and 11 it means that all the pins to which you have connected your stepper motor driver so now this is 8 9 10 11 now in white setup uh, we will write stepper dot set speed now we will give a specific speed to the stepper motor so we will write stepper dot set speed so it is 10 serial dot begin 9600 serial dot begin 9600 so here in wide loop and wide loop you must know that wide loop uh, used to be uh, repeat again and again so in wide loop you will write serial dot print ln clockwise clockwise and uh, we, we will write here semicolon as well then we write stepper dot step that how much step we want how much step we want so here we will write uh, like um like like let's see we will just write here six okay okay that that we, we just want six step uh okay so that the shift of the stepper motor will just move six step and delay off like uh, 1000 and then after this has been done we will copy it out and we will paste it out and here we will write minus six minus six means that our stepper motor will move in the counterclockwise direction so it will be counterclockwise direction so it first it will move six steps in the clockwise direction and then in the counterclockwise delay of 1000 means that there must be a delay of one second now we can run it out and there is one problem obviously something must be like uh, for semicolon no what they said no such file or directory okay so we have to uh, write here stepper okay they said stepper dot h okay okay yes it must be capital stepper dot h so so okay and if you don't have this library you can go here here in this sign and then you can write your stepper and you can install it out here you can see this remove option but actually it is uh, you will find here install option okay now we run it out and after this has been done we can see there is a hex file link which is ino.hex We will copy this link. We will go to our symbol ID, right click on it, Omega 328, go to properties, and here we will paste it out, click, and our code is firmware successfully loaded. So now we can run it out. And uh, we, we have to enable these pins. Okay, now you can see our stepper motor is moving clockwise and then anti clockwise. In one direction and then in the other direction like this so we can change the speed okay we can change the speed of the motor by 
changing it in the code and we can obviously change these steps okay so in this way you can interface your stepper motor with data of arduino uno so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe